one of the schools of our universities is what they call the school of law. Um, we here know the Ghana School of Law. Interesting enough, as Christians, we belong to also a school of law, but this is the law school of God Himself. And all our lives as Christians, we are supposed to take part. We are supposed to be part of this school of law of our God. So every day we learn of these laws and the desire is that as we learn them, we keep them. Laws are made to instill sometimes order. And that is why every nation has laws for the sake of order. But if you bring this to a Christian faith, laws are there because of love. 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 You know, God instructed the Israelites, as we heard in his first reading from Deuteronomy, Deutero, second, Nomos, law, second law, Deuteronomy. It is he reminding them that these are the things he wants them to keep, even when they had gone to the promised land. He doesn't want them to forget them because he wanted them to have a fulfilling life, a life that will be full of happiness, staying, living with neighbors in peace. In Lent, we enter the school of Jesus. It is a school of rules and regulations. You know them. We've got the Lenten observances, mention them, the fastings, the abstinence. These are the schools of Lent, what we learn in the school of Lent. I don't know which school, which law you are trying to keep this Lenten season. Three weeks are already gone. Which of the laws of Lent have you made your own and you want to keep it? As you go through today, let that be your reflection. Think of what you want to impose on yourself this Lent as a law just to be closer to your maker, your master. I pray that at the end of the, our lives here on earth, we shall look back and end indeed the grace to practice this law in heaven. Amen.